I like painting for art's sake. The beauty of a landscape or a portrait or an abstract design is great. But sometimes the most fun art is useful art. I'm taking a road trip with my daughter soon, and since the first stop is Texas, I was joking with my wife that we should have a Western theme. Taking after the movie title A Fistful of Dollars, I decided to call it A Frunk Full of Diapers. Now, a frunk is a front trunk that most EVs have, kind of like a old VW Bug. Well, with the movie theme, I decided it needed some good visuals, since this may turn into a series of videos. I looked up the movie poster to get some inspiration. I like the single tone of the orange and the pose, but we'll obviously be going for a more friendly vibe. My first step was to do a rough tracing of the lettering. Then retrace that, replacing the letters to make my title, but keeping the style consistent. I had my wife take a picture of us on a fairly simple background to make it easy to cut out. We put the camera low to get a more dynamic angle like the poster. I then cut us out of the background in Photoshop, printed that, and traced it to give it a more linear style. I traced it using a small light box and a Pigma Micron pen, uh, 03. It's nice because it doesn't bleed. This is just standard printer paper. I scanned that in so I had a backup in case this next step went wrong. A more patient person would have put this back on the light box, put another sheet or two above it, and painted that. But I was feeling gutsy, so I just started painting right on the drawing. I'm using a Liquitex cadmium red acrylic paint, thinned with water quite a bit for this first coat, so that even the white areas have a red hue. Since we're driving a Tesla, I chose the red rather than the orange of the poster. As each area dried, I added more color to the wash, and followed the shading pattern from the photo, leaving some spots light. Over several layers, I built up the dark red areas to give separation to the different layers. Originally, this was only going to be done with red, but to add more contrast and pop, I added some black to the wash and went over the darkest areas a few more times. Never all the way to complete black, though, as I wanted this to stay red-toned overall. As that dried, I took another sheet of paper and did a simple wash from red to reddish black for a background, leaving in some of the brush drag marks for texture. Once dry, I scanned everything in, cleaned up a couple of the edges in Photoshop, and then put this together with some music. I'm pretty happy with it, and it was a fun two to three hour project. It might not be high art, but it's something you can do with simple supplies around the house for the most part, and achieve something really useful for a family vacation, reunion, or group outing. For me, I'm excited to have a fun, consistent look for our upcoming series of videos to tie them all together. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.